What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. Come join us online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. All day it has been, well all week it's been NASA has solved the mystery on Mars. Solved it. There's been a mystery all week just pushing and leading up to this press conference today at 1130. I was able to catch it. Um, what? A joke. I mean, I hate to say it, guys. Honestly, we've been watching those NASA flows for a long time coming off and down those net. I mean, anybody with the high rise or if anybody that can search the internet knows we've, they've known this stuff for a long time. And but your list of guests gave it away ahead of time. I didn't even bother doing a video on what you guys were going to come out and say. Um, here's the the NASA page right here. But I want to talk about it is one of the callers called up and they said, you know. Could now we send, you know, Curiosity rover to one of these spots? If you didn't know, NASA basically came out and said, new findings from the MRO, the, Mass, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, provide the strongest evidence yet liquid water flows intermittently on present-day Mars, all right? So they're saying from above, they see these streaks of water that come out and they come down. They're very excited because as that, that means water does flow on the planet. Now, they gave all sorts of wonderful graphs, all sorts of wonderful things. But let me let me just say right now, NASA, the Curiosity rover could have taken samples of what looked like these flows, but not on a big steep mountain, not in the Valley Marineris, not there, right where the Curiosity rover is right now. And I'm showing you the images, people. Here's some up there. And here's a big one right there for anybody to see. I've made three videos about it. NASA ignores possible water evidence where we get into the evidence of the water here. Um, I think you, you can even see my room changes in the background. It's, it's been that long. We've been pushing it. More water seeping up from below on Mars. What, I, what really, really ticks me off is that Curiosity Rover could have, and at these times, everybody at NASA or JPL should have seen that. Unless you are a month behind in your pictures or you're further behind and you're, you're admitting, everybody should have seen that. It did. I got about 50 images these days, or 50 emails from everybody who were looking at the souls. So you can't tell me that I, we're not the only people looking at these images as they come down. Very disappointing today. I mean, I thought we were going to get a little bit more out of what. Why should I think that? We're just going to keep getting images that have been obfuscated. But look, you see that? Is it coming down? This is modern day. And look all around it. This isn't the image right there. But you can see all around it that it flows down all the time. This stuff is not just intermittent. Um, they could have tested this. If anything, what if that was oil? What if that was something else? You know, uh, a friend Angie says that she thinks it might be oil. Look, these blocks over on there. I never noticed that. But anyways, guys. So the big, big, big thing was, okay, NASA comes out, confirms evidence that liquid water flows on today's Mars. Well, we've known that for a long time, and so has NASA, and maybe this is part of the disclosure process. I don't know, but maybe they should give some of us some credit for uh, doing their work. They were there. This was not that long ago. Seven, saw 700, saw uh, 1048 these were up here. Salt 1048. This should have been looked at. Uh, that's not that far ago. I mean, that's not even that far of a drive back, and it's never going to happen. But you scoop up something in the, one of the most driest areas when they first got there and say that there's 0.02% water in it. And, and from there, that's what we get. So much more water out there than they're saying. Um, and what a... Uh, what, if you're going to say you're going to have a mind-blowing type conference, please, let's blow our minds. Show some of the pictures that we have on our on our websites. And, like, if you go to our website now, whatsupinthesky.com, let's just do it. Let's just pull up whatsupinthesky.com. You could spend more time here on my website and uh, finding mind-blowing evidence than what they did today. <laughs> Um, I've added so many new things to that. Check, net, check out Nev T's Gigapan Corner. Listed all his Gigapans there. If you haven't been to the website, you just go check it out and go back. We have an awful lot of new uh, of people signing into our forums. We've got a lot, all sorts of stuff's been going on. So come check it out. But uh, 
have fun with the What's Up in the Sky's Mars image gallery. If they wanted to see water or they wanted to see what really life is there, you could just they could just come here and go through this image gallery all day long and enjoy it. So, all right, guys, much love to you. Going to get you another Mars video out here soon, but I wanted to comment on the Mars story. Everybody's been asking for my opinion, and there it is. I mean, I'm just pretty disappointed. It is what it is. I knew that was what it was going to be that just by the, uh, the list of people who are going to be speaking. So, all right, guys, but here we go. There was the water to go test. So now let's go send a rover 2012 there and spend more money and, and go test it. That's where we should have tested. Shame on JPL. Shame on NASA. I even I even was on there pushing this picture up during their press conference. Shame on them for not testing that. All right, guys. Much love. Peace.